Hi and welcome to One Leisure's YouTube channel. I'm Helena and I'm gonna be taking you through a little yoga sequence today. So grab your mat, any blocks, any straps you might need, and we're just gonna come down to the mat. So a little yoga. We're gonna come onto the mat, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. So we're gonna spread the fingers. This is Pablo, by the way, if nobody knows who he is. We're gonna spread the fingers, not the mat, Pablo and press the tops of the ankles into the floor. As Pablo showing, downward facing dog. And we're gonna do a few cat cows. So as we exhale, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly in, press into the shoulder blades, spread the shoulders, and draw the chin into the chest. So just spending a few moments here, really spreading into that space between the shoulders, the thoracic spine, placing and pushing the index finger and the thumb into the floor. Maybe slightly squeezing the bottom, drawing in the pelvic floor. And then we're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift the bottom, ripple through the spine, lift the chest, keep the weight going forward over the wrists, looking up. Again, just a few moments here, getting a stretch through the throat, through the thyroid, the pituitary gland, and maybe just underneath the chin. Good, a little quicker now. So we're gonna exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in, spread the shoulders, chin to chest. And then inhaling, lifting the bottom, dropping the belly, lifting the chest, looking up, keeping that weight over the wrists. Again, exhale, cat spine, draw the belly, press the floor, chin to chest, squeeze the bottom, and inhale. Bottom goes up, belly down, shoulders away from the ears, lift the chest, look up. Two more times, exhale, tuck the tailbone, spread the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Last time, exhaling, drawing the bottom of the tailbone, the belly in, chin to chest, spread the shoulders. And then inhaling. Bottom up, belly down, uncoiling, lifting the chest to look up. Returning back to tabletop, so finding that nice long line from the crown of the head all the way down to the tailbone. We're going to, from here, just tuck the toes. If you've been to class with me before, you'll know what's coming. We're going to lift the knees off the floor for about an inch, so just hovering them there, keeping that nice long line from the crown of the head all the way down to the bottom. We'll inhale through the nose. Exhale, out of the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhaling. Exhaling. Drawing the belly in, send the bottom back to the heels, lift the bottom up to the sky, downward facing dog. So here, first one, have a wiggle, taking those heels down to the floor, spreading the fingers and just remembering that you've got your whole mat to work with. So we're not looking at getting those hands as close to the feet as possible. We're finding that nice long line from the crown of the head all the way down to the bottom. So a few check-in points. Feet are hip distance, hands are shoulder width. And like in our tabletop, we're pressing through the index finger, the thumb, and all our core exercises, we're drawing the belly in, the rib cage in. I'm trying to spread those shoulders, spread those armpits. Whilst we're here, we're gonna inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, draw the heels down. So the legs don't have to be straight, they can be slightly bent. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Keep the space between the shoulders and the ears. Again, inhale up, and we'll work down on mats. Exhale, draw the heels down. And again, don't worry if your legs aren't straight. You can bend them, the heels don't have to touch the floor. And then from here, we're gonna lift that right leg up. If you need to drop the knee down and do this in tabletop, you can. Keeping that strength through the shoulders going. And on our inhale, we're gonna bring the knee to the nose as the shoulders come forward. Exhale, send the leg back, point the toes. Inhale, knee comes forward. Exhale, leg goes back. Last time, inhale, bring the knee forward, 
press into the shoulders like you did in that cat spine to place the right foot between the hands, dropping the back knee and tucking the toes, and then reaching the arms out for that nice low lunge. So we've got that weight going over the front foot. We're on the back, the top of the back foot, sorry. And the arms are nice and long. So a couple of variations here, you see lots of them on Instagram and Facebook. I prefer to have my arms nice and wide so there's space for the shoulders, for the neck. If you wish, you can bring them in line with the shoulders or if you want to, you can interlace the fingers, release the cross, interlace the fingers, sorry, release the index fingers, cross the thumbs, finding that pistol and reaching it up towards the ceiling, whatever feels good for your shoulders. So weight going forward into that front foot, knee not going over the toe, we inhale, reach up. Exhale, place the hands either on your blocks, either side of the foot or on the floor, half split. We send the bottom back, flexing the foot, drop the head down towards the leg. And don't worry if that forehead touches the knee or it doesn't touch the knee. What we're looking at doing is keeping the bottom off of the heel, so sending the bottom up towards the ceiling and getting that stretch down the back of the hamstring. Again, it's not about getting that leg straight. If you want to get a little bit deeper into the belly of the muscle, then I suggest bending the knee. So you get into that big part of the hamstring as opposed to the attachment underneath the glutes. Releasing the head, we'll take two more breaths. And then slowly placing the right foot down, tucking under the toes. Either stay in here, reaching the arms, or see if you can lift the knee, reach the arms up towards the ceiling and find that nice high lunge. So same as always, we want the knees stacked over the ankles, toes spread, that left heel pressing behind you. If you can, pressing into the back of the knee, if not, having it soft. It's all about finding what works for you. Draw the belly, the rib cage in, reach the arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, place the hands alongside either side of the foot. Step that right foot back to plank and we'll take three lovely breaths here. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out in the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. And then all together we're going to inhale, lower the knees. You can take any variation of this if you want to. If you want to take the chin, then the chest and that little scooping, you can do. If not, safest option is just to exhale, lower the body down, elbows go back. Untuck the toes, squeeze the bottom, don't press into the hands, just simply lift the chest, drawing those elbows back. So it's quite early on, you don't want to press into the hands, you just want to engage those spine muscles, maybe squeeze the bottom. Pressing into the heels of the hands. Now we take the bottom back to child's pose. So the toes come together, the forehead falls onto the floor. And we just take a few moments here. So if you want to, this is a great time to find that Ujjayi breath, that slight snoring in the back of the, back of the throat, that restriction. Or you can just simply breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. You're feeling a little bit snotty, a little bit cold or hay fever then please, please, please breathe out the mouth. Again, it's all about finding what works for you. And back, let's take a tricep stretch. So drop the elbows down, bring the hands together and then take the hands behind the head into sharp spin. So you're trying to press the forehead down into the floor, the bottom into the heels and the armpits down into the mat. Sorry, I hope you can hear me even though I'm talking into my mat. Everything I've been told not to do. We'll take one more breath. And then place the hands back down into the mat. Inhale as you ripple up into tabletop. And then we're going to inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, look up towards the ceiling. Nice cow stretch. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly, squeeze the bottom, tuck the chin. And then inhaling, bottom up, chest up, gaze up, press the floor. 
exhaling, tuck tailbone, spread shoulders. Now return back to that tabletop, nice long line from the crown of the head to the bottom. Tuck the toes, a little bit of core again on. If the knees just an inch, maybe a little bit less than you did before. And we'll take three breaths, however you fancy. So inhaling, exhaling. Again, inhale, exhale. The last time, inhaling, exhaling. Take the bottom back to the heels and lift the bottom up to the sky, downward facing dog. So again, if you need to, just reach in those hands a little further away. Maybe pedaling, stepping, shaking the head. Yes, no, maybe. We'll wiggle it in the bottom. And then finding that stillness again. So spreading the fingers. Index finger, thumb pressing into the floor. Don't worry too much about the others. This time, you're going to inhale, everybody bend the knees, bring the chest towards the thighs. Exhale, lengthen the legs, so the torso is staying exactly where it is. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, lengthen. Again, those heels don't have to touch the floor. Last time, inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. And then lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. So still, we're keeping those hips nice and square. We're pressing the floor away, finding that space between the shoulders, the ears. Then we inhale, bring the knee to the nose, shoulders forward, engage those abdominals. Exhale, send the left leg back. Inhale, bring the knee forward, shoulders forward, tuck the belly in. Exhale, back as if you're poking the toes towards the ceiling. The last time, inhale, bring the knee forward. Press into the shoulders like that cat spine to place the foot between the hands. If you need to give it a little hoik, you can do. Drop the knee and up the toes. And a big reach up towards the ceiling. Nice hip stretch. Good. Oh, it's good not to be upside down. So really drop those hips down. Again, whatever arm variation you may want. Whatever feels good. You're in your own homes. Hopefully, you should be. Reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. Relaxing the shoulders wherever you are. If you want to take a little back bend, then just lift the chest, drop the head, draw the belly in. Be careful of not crunching in that lower spine. So, a little fish hook underneath the chest, the sternum lifting you up. Good. We'll take a nice big inhale all together. Try and touch the ceiling. Exhale, place the, foot, the hands either side of the foot, maybe onto the blocks or some books, and the bottom back. Drop the head down. And again, don't worry about lengthening the leg. That doesn't matter. We're bending the knee and trying to get that body over the leg. Trying to relax the head. Again, if this isn't easy for you, then maybe bend the knee a little bit more as you try and drop the head down, really getting into the belly of the muscle and trying to avoid stretching that attachment putting any pressure on the piriformis or the sciatic nerve and just working on those hamstrings as opposed to the things that support it. Really relaxing the head. I do apologise for the drilling that's going on next door. My neighbour has decided to get their driveway done and they've not picked Scott to do it. Shame on them. Good. Bring that weight into the sole of the foot. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. For those who don't know me, my husband is a landscape gardener, so that's why that might not have made any sense. Really reach the arms. Oh, I forgot. We're tucking under the toes. Lift in the knee if you can. If not, you can stay down there with the knee on the floor, but really try and tuck the pelvis under. So what we're trying to do is Resist that overarching in the lower spine and get the stretch into the hips. So tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bottom, reach the arms up, relax the shoulders, and again, press into the heel, to the back, to behind you. Good, inhale here. Exhale, frame the foot, send that left leg back. We'll take two breaths here this time. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. Again, inhale, exhale, and then inhale, lower the knees, exhale, lower the body, whichever way you 
feet once you keep those elbows close untuck the toes lift the chest press the floor away a little soft elbow still so you're not extending through those arms quite yet but really squeeze the bottom the feet can be as wide as a mat and take one last breath inhale exhale send the bottom back to the heels Again, taking that sharp spin, so hands come together, bring the arms up above the head. We'll take a couple of breaths. Inhaling, filling the belly, exhaling, emptying the body. Bring the hands down to the floor. We'll inhale out to tabletop, stacking the shoulders. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog, spreading the shoulders again. You want to make this a little harder, then you can come down into dolphin, so dropping the elbows down behind the wrists, making sure the elbows aren't wider than the shoulders, and really pressing the floor away so you don't want your head to touch the floor, the mat, engaging those shoulder blades, and this time trying to Draw the armpits in towards each other. If you want to walk the feet closer, you can do. Try and stack the bottom over the shoulders. We'll take two more breaths, really pressing the floor away. And then walk the feet out. Lift one elbow, then the other. Bend the knees. We're going to come to Malasana though, so those feet either side of the hands. Nice wide spot. Turn to face your hands come to prayer, elbows the inside of the knees. We're trying to lift the chest. So I will show you from the side. If you need to pop some blocks or some books underneath your heels, this is where your recipe books really come in handy. You can do. And what you're trying to do is find that nice long line from the crown of the head all the way to the bottom. So a lot of the time I see people in class sort of doing this. If that is the case, just take your feet a little wider and maybe just come up a little taller or a little higher. And spend a few more moments here, really trying to lift the chest, spreading the fingers. If you want to take any breath, any lion's breath, any blubbering lips, you can do. I'm not going to force you today. Good, hands come down into the mat, end the bottom up towards the ceiling, have a nice little wiggle, a little shake of the bottom. And then we're going to come back into Malasana. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want to give your little frog a go, keep it going so you don't lose it over the next couple of weeks, you can do. So the elbows stay in that same place we have for Malasana, that little podgy part within where the calves and the inside of the thigh meet. Hands go down into the mat, really spread the fingers. So it's literally coming straight from that Malasana pose. Spread the fingers, send the shoulders over the wrists, lifting the heels before you take one foot up and then the other. So just finding that little bit of weight into the hands, maybe taking the weight into the fingers as well and not going too much about flattening through the fingers. You can maybe just slightly bend them using those fingers as toes to find that weight distribution, that weight balance. So you've got a few moments, more moments. If you've never tried this before because you've been scared of falling in class and this is a great time, maybe just pop a cushion in front of you if you're scared of hitting your head. But I will show you now. If you do, you don't really go that far. Don't worry. Well, well done everybody, I wish I could see you giving it a go. Coming back to Malasana, hands come behind us, bottom finds the floor, legs out to straddle, so flex the feet. Walking that weight forward so you're on the sitting bones. If you want to sit on a block, you can do. And then we're just going to inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, reach the arms as far forward as you can, and then drop the head. So I understand this is difficult for 90% of people. So I do highly recommend sitting on a block just to lift those hips to get yourself a bit further forward. If you're on the hands, that's absolutely fine. Just really work on flexing the feet, sending those thighs behind you. If you're on the forearms, great. 
try and bring that weight a little further forward so you're not rounding in the spine. And if you're on the forehead nice and flat, which I am not no longer after not teaching for a week, then feel free just to have a little snooze, dropping the forehead down. And we'll just take three calm breaths, so I'll stop talking just for three breaths. After that third breath, just gently walking yourself back, bringing those legs in, soles of the feet into the mat, hug the knees in, so take hold of opposite elbow and opposite hand, and then just drop the head down towards the knees. If you can, hugging them in nice and tight, so the forehead touches knees. And again, we'll just take a few breaths here, just beginning to quieten down. And slowly releasing the elbows, walking those feet out a little further away from you, reaching the arms out in front, and we're just checking there's nothing behind you, no dogs, no children, inhale, lift the chest, and then as you exhale, slowly begin to draw the belly in as if someone's poking you in the belly and you're trying to get away from it, and beginning to roll down the spine, bone by bone, hold it there, relax the shoulders. Come up an inch. You don't get away from it that quickly. Roll down. Hold it there. Relax the shoulders. Come up an inch. And then roll down. Keep drawing the belly in. Hold it there. Come up an inch. And then roll all the way down to the mat. Relaxing the shoulders. Drawing those feet in a little closer to the bottom. Soles of the feet into the floor, lift the hips, press the bottom up, the hips up, interlace the fingers, draw the hands, the fists down towards the heels, and really squeeze those shoulder blades together. So you're trying to get on those big bones on the back, pressing the hands, the shoulders, the triceps into the floor, squeeze the bottom. Check the knees aren't flaring out to the side, that you're using those glutes to squeeze them in line with the hips. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Releasing the hands. Back the hands into the floor so you're not clawing at the mat. Squeeze the bottom, tuck the tailbone, and then begin to roll down the spine. Bone by bone. Maybe getting some nice little clicks as you go. Lower back finds the floor. Bring the knees in, nice little hug, taking hold of the wrists or the forearms. So if you want to put me on pause and you want to do a full wheel, forward slash crab, you can do, or if you want to do that again, that bridge pose, maybe coming on to the balls of the feet, lifting the heel, you can. If not, we're just going to go into a spinal twist. So take the arms out into those aeroplane wings. Back to the hands onto the floor. Take an inhale through the nose. And then exhale, allow both knees to fall to the left as you turn the head to the right. Closing the eyes if you haven't done so already. Feeling that stretch in the lower back, in the chest, through the spine, maybe in the neck, the scalenes. And if you want to stay here a little longer, then you can press pause. That's the great thing, I guess, about these home workouts. If not, bring those knees back to centre. And then allow them to fall to the other side. So both knees to the right as you turn the head to the left. Shoulder blades, shoulders pressing into the mat. reaching those arms away from each other and trying to allow that top leg, that left leg to be heavy 
if both knees are suspended in the air then you can put a little pillow underneath them or if it's just that top one you can put a pillow in between if you've got a block then it does the same thing and we just take a few more moments just unwinding chest roll onto the back again and if you need to just have a little wiggle and then when you're ready just lengthening the legs into your shavasana so the legs are nice and wide maybe as wide as the mat the toes are out as the heels are in and then maybe bring those arms just either side of the body palms up try and draw the shoulder blades down into the floor and drop the chin down towards the chest. If you haven't done so already, closing the eyes. Feeling that gentle rise of the belly. And the fall. Feel the inhale coming through the nose. And the exhale, leaving through the nose. Just feeling the body melting, sinking, letting go into the mat. Feel the feet, the legs, the arms heavy. And just simply that belly inflating like a balloon and then slowly deflating. Allowing that warm, gentle wave of calm to make its way up over the body the legs, the torso, the face. And if you want to, staying here a little longer. If not, wriggling the toes, wriggling the fingers. And then taking a little shuffle to the left so you can roll onto the right side of the body. Going as slowly as you need to and leaning back in on our bottom. Eyes closed, back to the hands, into the knees, lift the chest, take one big inhale. Exhale. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.